The efficiency of an energy transfer is found by dividing the total useful output energy by the total input energy. So remember that efficiency is the proportion of input energy that becomes useful output energy in a process. As an equation, that is, efficiency is equal to the total useful output energy divided by the total input energy. We can use Sankey diagrams to help visualise the way energy is distributed. On the left, we have the total input energy, and on the right, it's broken down into the total useful output energy and also the wasted energy. The total useful output energy is measured in joules, and the total input energy is also measured in joules. Therefore, when we divide these by one another, the efficiency has no units. We can, however, give this as a percentage if we multiply the answer by 100. Let's have a look at an example. An oven uses 80 kilojoules of electrical energy to cook a potato by supplying 30 kilojoules of thermal energy to it. Calculate the efficiency of the oven. So for the first step, we're going to write down the key information and check the units. We have an electrical input equal to 80 kilojoules and then a thermal output or useful output of energy equal to 30 kilojoules. And we want to calculate the efficiency of the process. Now in this example, both the input and the output energies are given in kilojoules, so we don't need to change the units as they're the same as one another. For step two, let's substitute the values into the efficiency formula. Efficiency is equal to 30 kilojoules divided by 80 kilojoules. And that gives us 0.375. Or as a percentage, we can multiply it by 100 and we get 37.5%. So can we also calculate efficiencies using the power of a process? Efficiency can also be calculated by dividing the total useful output power by the total useful input power. So in most continuous processes, the rate that useful and wasted energy is output won't change, so we can describe this in terms of their powers. We can find the new equation by dividing both the top and the bottom of the efficiency equation by time. That is, efficiency is equal to the useful output energy divided by time, all divided by the input energy divided by time. That becomes efficiency is equal to the total useful output power divided by the total input power. Both the useful output and the total input power are measured in watts. So the efficiency again has no units when these are divided by one another. But once again, we can give this as a percentage. Let's have a look at another example. A low energy light bulb is 65% efficient and requires an input power of 12 watts. Calculate the power output of light energy from the bulb. So once again for the first step, let's write down the key information and check our units. The total input power is equal to 12 watts. The efficiency of the process is given as 65%. For our equation, we need a decimal, so we divide this by 100 to give us 0.65. And we want to calculate the useful output power. For step two, let's rearrange the efficiency formula to make the useful output power the subject. So we can do that by multiplying both sides of the equation by the total input power. That becomes useful output power is equal to the efficiency multiplied by the total input power. Then for step three, all we need to do is substitute the values into the rearranged formula. The useful output power is equal to 0.65 multiplied by 12 watts, and that gives us 7.8 watts of useful output power. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos, and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there!